Last week we were exploring a little tropical island called Alot Ua in New Caledonia's outer reef. But the weather was about to pack it in, so we hoisted the spinnaker to head back to Mato Reef. <laughs> Picked up in the middle of the night to about 30, 30 knots or so, and uh, we are going to move on because uh, although this reef is lovely and it's really protected actually, it's really nice and flat in here. But there's a bombing about 50 meters behind us, and a whole lot of reef around the back of us. And uh, yeah, with the wind strength staying high throughout the day, we've decided it just feels a little bit too uncomfortable for us. Yeah, a little bit unnerving. It's not too bad in the daytime, but night time you, you can't really see what's going on. So yeah, but I say the whole area inside the hu huge lagoon of Numea is flat as. Yeah, there's no, no swell in here at all. It's pretty good. Anyway, we're going to uh, head over to a, a place called the Prony and uh, see what adventures we can have there. There might be some hot springs and it's a bit chilly, so yeah. it sounds pretty good to yeah. me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, babe, let's go. Right, let's get this show on the road. We had the intention of sparing McDazzle a fish for dinner, but the strong winds had come earlier, so the fishing was off until next time. There's a bit of wind out there. I was getting a bit wet up on deck there, sticking that roof in. <laughs> a fair bit to be said for having a good dodger. <laughs> Bernas means good cove in French, and from the chart you could see it was a large protected harbour providing shelter from almost every wind direction. Apart from being a stunning geographical region, New Caledonia is known for its nickel stores which is evident in the red soils surrounding us in the bay. Darren had spotted a lighthouse on the ridge so took off on a hike while I finished up my work. You 
so the lighthouse was constructed in the late 1800s and uh, I think this is what remains of the caretaker's uh, cottage uh, back in the day. It's a wonder it's still standing even like the ground moves here so much the erosion's just crazy. Even the, uh, the old lighthouse up on the hill there looks like it's not far off ready to slide off the edge as well. Back on the boat and Dazzle was finishing up an oil change. Okay, I'm doing the annual service on the old beater and uh, I'm just swapping out the impeller pump. Anyway, last year I uh, replaced the gasket. I didn't have one at the time and I made up a gasket out of a Dilmar tea box. <laughs> and you can still see the writing on it. It's perfect. So, go the Dilmar tea. Anyway, this year it'll be robust. <laughs> Good on you, babe. Genius work. <laughs> High five. The next day we moved further up into Lebroni for more adventures. Okay, we are up the creek at Prony and oh, it's beautiful up here. It's so lovely and quiet and the scenery, it's really strange. It's beautiful uh, ferns and coconut trees and then kind of like a woodland foresty area. It's, yeah, mm, it's really, really, different. yeah, lovely and peaceful. Anyway, it's been raining still, but it's really settled in now. But we're just a little bit chilly and we're kind of interested in going on a bit of a get off the boat and go for a bit of a hike. So we're going to go and try and find some Japanese hot springs we've found about, aren't we babe? Yeah. And jump in and get warm. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully they're hot. <laughs> <laughs> I mean Dazzle's a little bit cold yeah. as you can tell, he's all dressed up in his garb. Yeah. Anyway, let's go. Let's see what we can find. Oh yeah. So we hopped in the tender, dreaming of a steamy rendezvous in the hills. We've hit the bottom, we've hit the bottom. What's the tide doing? Uh, it is coming in. I may have taken the wrong path. It might have, might have been better up around the other side there. It does look a bit shallow just there, doesn't it? It does look a bit shallow. Leproni was discovered by the French Navy in 1854. Convicts were brought down to work in logging. The Japanese then indentured workers in the nickel mining industry. <laughs> what are you doing, my love? By all accounts, it was a tough life. However, the men were allowed to follow their tradition of bathing in thermal pools.
Goodbye, baby. You can really feel the history here. And although it's fairly broken down now, I can imagine people sitting around at the end of a hard day, letting the waters melt away their aches and pains.